Hello, my dear students. I hope you all are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Take my heart. My little brothers and sisters, I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy, and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala behold on all of you. Today, we will discuss about elementary mathematics of class 1. And today I will try to solve all the questions which is mentioned in your textbooks in page number 37. Inshallah, I will try to solve all the questions easily. So let's get started. First of all, uh, I will try to show you the questions or the maths which is mentioned in page number 37. In page number 37, we can see that here are uh, almost six questions. At the first questions, uh, which is mentioned in question number four, that Rumi has four balloons. She is given two more balloons. How many balloons does she have now? Dear students, you should read the questions again and again in the exam hall or when you will try to solve any types of questions, any types of maths. So here, we will try to read these questions uh, more easily or most, more, uh, more deeply so in the first line we can see that Rumi has four balloons so at the earlier of the math Rumi has four balloons then she is given two more balloons in the questions there has not mentioned that who give balloons to Rumi there we can see that there is mentioned that she is given two more balloons so it can be his father, mother, sister, brother, or anyone. So there is mentioned that she is given two more balloons. So at the first of the map, she has four balloons and then she was given two more balloons. So four and two is equal six. So you can easily find out that it will be a math of adding. So if you will summarize this math, if you will customize this math, the math will be like that. So at the first line of the math, you should write that what number of math you are solving. So here I am writing that solution of question number four. In the first line, you should write that Rumi has four balloons. It is mentioned in questions. You can see that a Rumi has four balloons and then he is given two more balloons. Because it is a math of adding, so you should must create this sign of plus. And then in the last line of the math, you should write that now she have is equal 4 plus 2 is equal 6. And so that is why I'm writing here 6. So now she has 6 balloons and that is the answer. So remember that you should write this answer at the last of the math. So the answer of this question will be 6 balloons. So hope you can understand the questions and the solution of question number four. Now we will go ahead. If we see question number five, we can see that Shumun colored three flowers and five flowers yellow. Three flowers red and five flowers yellow. So we can see that there is given two information. First of all, Shumon colored red flowers, the number of red flowers is 3 and then the number of yellow flowers is 5. Uh, I think you know the meaning of red color and yellow color. So the question you have asked that how many flowers in all did Shumon color? So first of all, you need to, uh, you need to write that he colored red flowers 3 and then in the second line you should write that he colored five flowers so how you can customize how you can summarize this math i will show you so uh, in the next slide i will try to show you how to solve this question so you can solve this question number five like that uh, here is mentioned that uh, question number five will be like that in the first line you should write he colored red in three flowers. Then you should write 
a colored yellow in five flowers and because of it is a math of adding so you must should write this plus sign and in the last line of the math you should write in all he colored eight flowers so three plus five is equal eight you can count these types of numbers you can count this type of math in your hand or in your finger so that you can count easily all the numbers so remember that you must needs to write this answer at the finishing of the math so now we will try to read the question number six so that is page number 37 and the question here is which, uh, question number six what is the sum of the numbers four and three in the two cards you know that what is the cards so there is two cards and there is written four and three so you uh, can materialize you can summarize you can understand that four plus three is equal to what so if you can understand that four plus three is equal to seven then the math will be done and the math will be solved so we will try to solve this question number six now go to the slide and that is question number seven actually okay uh, as question number six is very easy so i am uh, tell, uh, I will tell you that how you can uh, solve this question. First of all, you should write that 4 and then you should write a plus sign between these 4 and 3 numbers and then you should write this 3 and then you should write is an equal, uh, equal sign and you know that 4 plus 3 is equal 7 and the answer of this question will be 7. In the question number 7, we can see that four children were in the garden five more children joined with them now the question asks to you that how many children are there in the garden now so you can understand that from the beginning of the math there were four children then five more children joined with them so the number of children will be increased because the number of the children will be increased and that is why it will be a math of summation it will be a math of adding so in the first line you should write that there were four children and in the second line you should write that there were the joined with them more than five more five children or joined with them five children then you should add or you should sum 4 plus 5 is equal to what? When you will count 4 plus 5 is equal to 9, then the answer will be done. Then the question will be solved. So how can you materialize or how can you summarize this question? Now I will show you. So if we see the slide, uh, the question will be like that. In the first line, you should write that there were four children and in the next line you should write that joined with them five children then four children plus five children is equal to what if you count it in your hand or in your finger you can easily find out the answer so you know that four plus five is equal to nine so the answer is done so we can write in the next line or in the final line that now there are nine children and remember that you should use this equal sign when you solve a math and it is uh, a necessary thing and remember that you should write this answer because the answer of this math is nine children then you should write the answer is nine children okay students now we will try to solve question number eight so before solving the question we should always read the question deeply so uh, we are back in page number 37 here the question number eight is there were three bananas with the reja his father gave him seven more bananas how many bananas does he have now so you can understand that from the beginning of the math reja has 
three bananas but after that his father gave him more seven bananas so you can easily understand that the number of bananas now will increase because first of all he was three bananas then when his father gave him more seven bananas then three plus seven the number of these bananas will be increased and because of the will be increased the math will be sum and it will be a match of adding so when you will add this three plus seven you can easily find out the answer you can easily solve this math and you can easily do the answer so how can you materialize how can you summarize these questions i will show you in the next slide so the question asks to you that how many bananas does he have now so you can write this math like this in the first line you should write there were three bananas and in the second line you should write his father gave him seven bananas and because of it is a math of adding because of it is a math of summation and you should write this plus sign in the math remember that you should write the signs of plus in the math and it is very necessary and it is a must then in the final line you should write that now he have 3 plus 7 is equal to what? Students, I am asking you, 3 plus 7 is equal to what? You know that 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. So, the answer of this math and the answer of this problem, the answer of this question is 10. So, you should write this answer 10 bananas. So, I hope that you all were understand this math. And now, we will try to solve another question. And now, we will try to solve another problem so before solving a question before solving a problem we always should try to read deeply what has mentioned in the question so now we will be back in the page number 27 and then we will try to read what was saying to question uh, question number nine so that is page number 37 and in the question number 9 there the question is let's make a story for the mathematical sentence 2 plus 3 students you should see that from the 4 to 8 number of questions we solve more than 5 problems and there all the problems uh, there was mentioned uh, a story and we was solving that but in question number nine there was a critical or uh, another problems so here uh, a example is given for you that this little girl is saying my story is i had two books my father bought me three more books how many books do i have look that because in the questions here is mentioned the 2 plus 3 and that is why the little girl is used there two books and here is three books because the mentioning question is uh, containing 2 plus 3 so now you turn make your story uh, they asked you to make a story so for example i am reading uh, i am writing uh, uh, example questions so now i will try to show you how you can solve this problem so we will go to the slide and try to share that with you and that is question number nine yes so you can write this problem like this i had two pens my sister gave me three more pens now how many pens do i have and you can see that there was two plus three so i used these two pens and they are these three pens so uh, you can easily write this problem you can easily solve this problem you can uh, make another story you can make thousands of story like this you can use that i have two bananas you can use that i have two balloons you can use that i have two pencils whatever but you should remember or you should keep in mind that you should use these two and three numbers that's it. 
that's easy so i hope that you all will understand all the mathematical problems all the mathematical questions which i was mentioned and share with you if you have any problems based on these questions based on these problems inshallah i will try to solve all the problems uh, which you have you can write all the problems in the comment box i will answer all the questions uh, so in the next video we will try to uh, describe more we will try to solve another uh, problems with you another questions with you so stay home uh, stay home and stay safe mm, good night thank you very much